1235, this is WGN. You're listening to the Wintrust Business Lunch. I mentioned this a little while ago. There is a series on Amazon Prime that uh, has a new season that's about to drop. It's called The College Tour. And I think it sounds like a good idea if it is what I think it is. That is, wouldn't it be nice if instead of driving all around the country or the suburbs, you could see from, say, a student's perspective what it's like at these various universities and colleges around the country. The college tour focuses on a single college or university. This season, one of the schools they're featuring is Midwestern University. You hear commercials for Midwestern University frequently on WGN radio, and sometimes we talk to some of the students or principals there. And today we do just that. Tiffany Thompson is here, and Alexis Flamburis is here. They are Midwestern University students. Tiffany, ladies, welcome to the studio. How are you? Good. How are you? Thanks for having us. Um, So did you all have, have you seen the episode that is about Midwestern University? You participated in it, right? The recording of it? Correct. Um, So Alexis, you saw it. What does it look like to you? So actually we haven't even seen the episode yet. You haven't seen yours yet? No. But you've already recorded it. They've interviewed you. You've done your shtick and all of that. Correct. Now I've seen episodes with previous schools and in that it looks like about a half hour long show and there's a host, and then there's some production values, music, quick cuts, and we see students kind of tell us about their journey. Does that sound about right? Yes, that's absolutely correct. And so let's start with you, and, and um, Alexis, you can jump in too, but or, or Tiffany, but Alexis, so you're a graduate student then, because Midwestern University students are. What was your bachelor degree in? So I actually got my bachelor's degree in finance. And where did you go to school for that? I graduated in 2017 from Loyola University, Chicago. I see. And what was your plan when you graduated? Did you want to go into business? So that was the plan, and I actually worked four and a half years in the corporate world before I decided to quit my corporate job. Uh, While I was actually working throughout those four and a half years, I was taking science classes since I don't have the science background. I always kind of knew I wanted to pursue health care, but I wasn't sure what that was going to look like. So one day I decided to just quit my corporate job, pursue pharmacy school, and within two months after that, I was accepted to Midwestern's program. So you're a pharmacy student at Midwestern. How far along are you in that then? I'm actually a second year right now. Got it. And then, so do we see you on campus when they were filming you? Were you kind of walking through what your experience is like at the school? Yes, you'll get a very good look at what the school is like itself sneak peeks into what our pharmacy lab looks like. So it's a really good idea of what it's like to be a pharmacy student. What is that like? It's hard, I'm not going to lie. Pharmacy school is very rewarding in the sense that it's difficult, but at the end of the day, you're doing something that's going to help the greater population. So for me, it's studying hard now so that way I can provide the best care for my future patients. Whenever I see the pharmacist behind the counter at the pharmacy, Walgreens, CVS, wherever I go, those people look busy, and they're on task, and they've got a ton of things going on at the same time. They also strike me as being a lot smarter than me, and I'm always appreciative of that because, you know, they're either mixing or handing me drugs that are vital, aren't they? Yeah, it's funny that you actually bring that up because I'm currently on my community IPI rotation, so it's an introductory pharmaceutical experience rotation, and I'm actually at a retail chain right now. And it's exactly how you described it. It's busy. We're constantly interacting with the patients. But at the end of the day, it is like the first place you can go to and have direct access to health care right at the pharmacy counter. And this is part of your Midwestern University educational process, though. Yes, that's absolutely correct. I'm glad to hear that. Um, Okay, so Tiffany Thompson is here also. Tiffany, uh, tell me about yourself. Uh, You're a graduate student in what program? Uh, osteopathic medicine. Osteo, what, uh, bone medicine then? What does so that mean? So that's more orthopedic, which is uh, what you can specialize in residency-wise. Osteopathic, it's, um, we learn the same exact um, as allopathic schools, so MD schools, um, but it's more of a holistic approach uh, to the patient instead. What's your background? You got a graduate degree, or you're working on that now. What was your undergrad in? It was in neuroscience and philosophy. What is that? A lot to do with the brain. <laughs> Neuroscience and philosophy. But I mean weird because that sounds science and medically, medical forward, and then philosophy doesn't. What's the intersection of those? There's a lot of interplay when it comes to how the mind's working um, and philosophical ideas. 
Um, one in specific that I had worked on um, paper-wise was about the thought process of language to pain and that how someone's brought up can actually determine how much pain tolerance they might have. I guess it does make sense that if I was going to study the brain, the output of the brain is your thoughts, your feelings, your philosophies. So, boy, that sounds holistic. And then what are you studying now then at Midwestern? Um, so right now I am studying to be a physician, a doctor. Um, so at the moment I'm a third year, which means I'm on my rotations um, where I spend a month at different specialties trying to figure out where I want to go in terms of residency in the future. So then what was it like for you when this college tour comes to town? So you ladies are here because you are two of the featured students from Midwestern University on the new TV series on Amazon Prime called The College Tour. So what was it like when they reached out to you then? I was actually shocked. Um, I did it. I'm not. <laughs> I did it more of a New Year's resolution of try something new, of put myself out there, um, and ended up on behind, in front of a camera. Oh, so did they have an audition or it a was, casting call? Yeah. Like, do you want to be in this series? And I guess, so Alexis, you had the same sort of uh, opportunity that way? Yeah, so the school actually emailed us and said, Amazon Prime is doing the college tour. If you want to be featured on it, send us a two-minute video, and it'll get screened, and if you're selected, we'll be in touch. Why did you want to be on it? Not to sound silly, but I kind of always wanted to be on TV. I just never thought pharmacy school would land me on TV. Who knew that would be the way in? Exactly. And what about you? Um, Why like, did you answer the email? Why did you try out? Like I said, New Year's resolution, try something new. Um, I'm not usually one to really put my face and my voice out there. Um, and to do so, now it's kind of permanently out there. So. so have you seen any of the clips that you all have participated in? We have not. It, uh, it has not been released yet. That's a little terrifying, isn't it? Just a smidge. <laughs> <laughs> How do you think you did, Alexis? Uh, I got some great feedback from the crew that was filming. Like I got what? That I did well, yeah. that the footage looked great. Also, a couple folks from school, actually our director of marketing, Mike, and our digital media specialist, Molly, they both said that they've seen the episodes and that it's it looks excellent. So I'm really looking forward to it. Um, uh, if, if it's like a reality show, though, you are sort of, and it, it is, it's a sort of tour of a college campus, you sort of do turn your fate over to the producers. Did they ask you to do certain things like uh, hold this test tube or pretend like you're looking through a microscope or something like that? Yes, there was definitely a lot of that, but it, they did it in such a way where it looks natural and it looks like we're actually in the classroom doing the things that we're showcasing. You felt like it was representative of what you do at Midwestern? For sure. And what was your experience along these lines like? I would say it's very similar. Um, I mean, they were very easygoing, so it got any nerves kind of shaken out very quickly. Um, and I enjoyed being able to bring my friends into it and drag them into it. To, what do you mean by that? So there's different aspects of it, of showcasing, like studying, to show off the library, um, and just the surrounding area um, campus, and bringing them in just to have a fun little conversation with them was nice. Yeah, I would imagine that um, depending on the school or university, uh, where, where is Midwestern University located? Downers Grove. Right. So that's a suburb of Chicago, but it's not a sprawling University of Illinois Champaign-Urbana campus. Did you get the feeling, though, that they are going to kind of give us a tour of the grounds and the buildings as well? Yeah, for sure. So like for my segment specifically, I could speak on that. We used a lot of different spaces on campus to kind of showcase you know, the one end from campus to the other. Yeah. Um, and I know from other college tour episodes that I've seen, they do a lot of, like, drone shots and a lot of right. little pieces in between each student segment. I've seen those as well, and I would imagine Downers Grove in your area would film very, very positively. Mm -hmm. We'll have to watch. Oh, and when, how, and where do we watch this? Okay, we'll get to that in a minute. Stay right there. It's 1245 on WGN. We're talking to Alexis Flamburis, who is a Midwestern University graduate student, as well as Tiffany Thompson. It's 1245 on WGN. This is the Wintrust Business Lunch. We've got more business news with Steve Grzanich. Start your house.com. 
It's the Wintrust Business Lunch at 1253. So if you haven't heard, there is a show called The College Tour, where for 12 seasons now, this is season 12, they showcase different colleges and universities across the country. And one of the universities they're featuring this year is the one we talk about sometimes, Midwestern University. And in fact, you can watch the episode that features them starting September 10th. They will host it at midwestern.edu, midwestern.edu. Now, Midwestern University is in Downers Grove. They also have a campus in Glendale, Arizona. So it's two half-hour episodes, one based on the Arizona campus and one based on the campus here in Illinois. Tiffany Thompson and Alexis Flamburis are in our studio, Midwestern University students. And one more time for those who just dialed in. Alexis, you are studying what at Midwestern? Pharmacy. And your background, your undergrad was in? Finance. So you were a career changer. And then you had just kind of been coming up through the academic uh, line all along, maybe with your eye, Tiffany, on uh, something in the medical field, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, I I don't have any doctors in my family, so I kind of figured it out on my own. And and, um, you are in your third year, did you say? Yes. So how many more years do you have before you graduate and go into the work field? So that's a loaded question. One more year until I graduate, and then depending on my residency, I still have more training. So it could be three, it could be eight. It could just never end if I keep doing fellowships. It's amazing what we ask uh, students in medical fields to go through. I I really think it sounds arduous. I wonder sometimes if it's not too much. Uh, It's expensive. It's a lifelong commitment, which makes maybe um, what you're doing, Alexis, all all the more interesting. I mean, you were carving out a nice career in a completely different profession, weren't you? I was, but throughout my entire time, in that career, I would always think about how it wasn't fulfilling me in the way I wanted. It wasn't as rewarding as I wanted. I knew I could do something with like a greater purpose. And like I mentioned earlier, for me, that was healthcare. But for me, it was something that I wanted to pursue that didn't involve too many blood, too much blood, too many guts. I don't really do that. And right. pharmacy is kind of the cleanest route in that sense. I understand that uh, Midwestern University is in the near future going to initiate a veterinary school, which would sort of be in line with the medical occupations that they prime people for. Uh, where are you ladies from then? Are you from the Chicago area? Yes, born and raised. I currently am in Orland Park. And how about you? Uh, I was born in Maple Park, Illinois, and I currently live in South Loop. So then how did you all hear about Midwestern University? How about you? So for me, it was actually a Google search. Um, When I was starting to look to make that jump out of the corporate career that I had, I was trying to find pharmacy schools in the area. And for me, the biggest thing was finding somewhere I can drive to every day. I didn't have to live on campus. And the fact that Midwestern's program is three years instead of four was probably one of the biggest selling points for me. Campus here is Downers Grove. How about you? Um. It actually probably was a Google search, and I also worked alongside a couple of the alumni when I was in college. Yeah, right. Um, She said it's really hard, pharmacy school. Would you say the same? Yeah, I would say it's definitely been the hardest couple years I've had. I know there's a wait list for some of the programs, so you apply and hope you get in, huh? Exactly, exactly. Kind of nerve-wracking, isn't it? Very nerve-wracking, considering I was on the wait list and got taken off just a couple weeks before school started. (laughs) Same for you? For me, it was not as nerve-wracking. Um, I think from the time that I interviewed and from the time that I got the call was like about a week. So not terrible, but that week felt like months, I'm not going to lie. Watch these ladies online when the episode drops. Again, season 12 of something called The College Tour, where they tour colleges across the country. The big watch party they're hosting in Downers Grove is Tuesday, September 10th. And you can uh, click online then and watch it starting that day at midwestern.edu, midwestern.edu. Okay, ladies. Well, fascinating. Congratulations in advance and uh, looking forward to watching you either on Prime or on the the site from the school itself. Well done. Thank you so much. 1257 now. WGN Radio News from the Northwestern Medicine Newsroom is next.